I am Sadhush Gajankar. Today we are solving about the simple harmonic motion problem. But the the last two lectures we have we have went for the sign. Now the concept about the cos. Either you have to convert into completely cos. Either you have to go for the completely sine. For this one, just multiply. This is on radian. 180 divided by pi. You will get 15 cos omega t plus 114.592 degree. Next, normal x is nothing but what x1 plus x2. These are nothing but x1 and x2. We have to write in terms of this one x is nothing but x1t plus x2t. Now, what is x here? x is nothing but a sine omega t it is already known you can write it as a x t here this is known thing just yes, substitute it sorry for the disturbance extremely sorry substitute the values of here here a sine omega t plus phi omega t plus phi now I made a mistake here because I have considered everything about the cos so we have to consider this also in terms of cos go for cos here cos term if it is a sign we have to go for the sign now it is a cos term ok instead of uh, theta I will go for a uh, phi instead of phi I will go for a theta here theta tan sorry tan cos omega t plus 15 cos <coughs> omega t plus 114.592 degree now I have to use the formula formula is nothing but cos a plus b is nothing but what cos a cos b minus sin a sin b I have to use this formula I have to use now in solving the problem ok next I have to use this formula I will use this here a cos omega t into cos theta minus a sin omega t into sin theta is equal to 10 cos omega t this 10 cos omega t plus I have to solve the I have to apply the formula for this one. 15 cos omega t cos 114.592 degree minus 15 sin omega t into sin 114.592 degree I will make these two terms common here common now how to write this expression is cos omega t a cos theta a cos theta the cos omega t is brought outside plus sin omega t a minus sin theta this term, you have brought it next these two terms cos omega t is nothing but what 10 plus 15 cos 114.592 degree plus plus sin omega t outside it can be written as 15 sin 114.592 degree if you go for further simplification the cos omega t 
is nothing but 3.758 plus sine omega t minus 13.64 equating this above terms we'll go for first sine term minus a sine theta minus a sine theta this and this cancel and this become minus 13.64 this this cancel it become a sine theta 13.64 similarly i will go for cos a cos theta will be 3.758 equation 1 and 2 now squaring and adding the equation 1 and 2 squaring and adding 1 and 2 you will get a square sin square theta plus cos square theta if you add this squaring and adding it will be it will be 13.64 square plus 3.758 square that is not 3.7 whole square the total answer will be a is equal to 14.148 and this term becomes 1 here okay now dividing equation 2 and 1 and 2 divide equation 1 divided by 2 that means tan theta tan theta is nothing but what sine sine by cos the value will be 13.64 divided by 3.758 and theta value will be 74.6 degree and resultant can be obtained as xt is nothing but what 14.148 cos omega t plus 74.6 degree this is the analytical one i will go for graphical one graphical one I am not doing the graphical one. I will consider the scale the same. I will consider the scale 1 centimeter is equal to 5 centimeter because there is they have not mentioned it mm or centimeter. Okay, this is the problem. This is the graphical method I am doing it. Now go for XY line. Here they are given it 10. This is x, y. The cost always lies in this. Okay. 10 they have given it. 10 means a1 they have given it. This is a1. This is a2. 10 they have given it, but there is no angle here. I have to consider as 90 degree here. There is no angle there. For uh, 10 is nothing but 2 centimeter. I have to move 2 centimeter from this direction. 2 centimeter a1 is nothing but 10 here next theta is number 144 from y you have to take 144 that is around 150 145 uh, 115 115 but 15 15 means 3 centimeter centimeter this is a this is b now just move the line parallel to this one and move parallel to this one that's it you will find the resultant here from this point to this point If you measure this value, I will consider this is A. If you measure this value, it is around 2.5 into 5, you will get 14. This is A is nothing but 15 here. If you measure this angle, it will be 75. 
75. This angle is nothing but 115. 75. Okay, the adding method is also same. The final result for this one is nothing but xt is nothing but 14 cos omega t plus 75. This is the graphical method. I am Santosh Gayankar. Thank you very much.